guys, welcome back to the channel. Whew, it's been some time since I've uploaded. It's just over a month now. Um, I've got a camp planned for a couple of weeks. Well, in a couple of weeks when I'm off work a little bit. So what I thought I'd do is give you a little rundown of my sleep system. What I've been using. It's mainly in the summer one. Um, I haven't kind of dagged it or dagged dig me um, the winter bag out yet. So I'm going to run through what I use through the summer, and I could get away with using it in the winter if I use some extra things like thermal and stuff like that. So I'll give you a run through of what I'm using now. Okay, all right, I'll catch you in a minute and I'll show you what I've got. So the sleep mat I've been using is. The Van Gogh F10 series um, Aero. It's the free compact. So this mat has got um, an R rating of seven, and it weighs 0.66 kilograms. The size, well, the measurements for it are: it's three inches thick, and its length is 168 centimeters. And its width is 51 centimeters. So that's the Aero thingy, the F10 series. So I'll do a pull it out and give you a quick look inside. It doesn't compact down as much as you'd like it to, but it's all right, I suppose. It's got straps for when you roll it out. It's a pretty long look. got like a, a honeycomb effect to it, if you can see it. The valve's there, so it is self-inflating. It does inflate itself, but I tend to give it a good blow as well. So what I'll do, I'll let that blow up, and I'll show you my sleeping bag, what I use as well. So the sleeping bag, it isn't an expensive sleeping bag. It's a Summit ultralight sleeping bag. So the specs on this are the extreme temperature. Yeah, your extreme te temperature is 22 C. The comfort rating is 14 C, and your lower temperature is 10 C, and your extreme low is two degrees. So, like I said, it's all right for for summer. Kind of can't make. Oh, it weighs 580 grams, so it isn't a, an heavy bag, and it packs down rather small to be honest with you. So that's what it's like when it isn't compressed. When you compress it, it's pretty. Compresses down pro proper small. It is. It's a synthetic bag, as well. So, yeah, it's a nice little. It says comfy bag. I, I tend to open it up and use it as a quilt with it being a, a mummy bag because I, I feel restricted in a mummy bag and I know I'm having a new bag for Christmas of me. My wife, she's buying me, well she's getting me a new bag for Christmas, so packs in rather alright, like I said, it's a, it's a mummy bag, it's um, what way would that be, that would be, I think a left handy zip, or, no, a right handy zip, sorry, like I said, nice vibrant colours as well, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a comfy bag, it's not like I said, it's not thick. It's got these tabs on the bottom so, so you can hang it in a wardrobe or something when you're not using it. I, tell, I, don't, I don't do that to be honest. <laughs> I just shove it back in the bag and hope for the best. <laughs> that isn't all packed. Sorry, you've got an itchy leg. So, yeah, that's my bag. It's the Summit Ultralight bag. It's alright for summer. So what I'll do, I'll launch down over there as well. 
just like that. I'll come back to you in a minute, I'll show you the pillow I'm using. So the pillow is a pretty common pillow in the the camping the wild camping universe. It's the Trekolo Trekology Harloft 3 pillow. Oh, 0 0.2, sorry. Comfort latch dot design. So I brought this off because of some reviews I saw on YouTube because I had I had a, an OEX pillow which I sold to John Outdoors um, but it just wouldn't keep still so I saw reviews on this um, I know Dave Outdoors has put some reviews I'm sure he did a review on it um, but every, I think every, near enough everybody uses this pillow. So yeah, I think we all know this pillow. So we all know how it works. You've got your, your valve here, push it in. It's a one-way valve. So you have to, so if you put it up too much, you press the valve in a little bit to release some air, pop it back in. What what drew me to this pillow in the first place was the strap, to strap it to your, your, your sleep mat so it wouldn't move. But yeah, it's um, become a regular, a regular piece of kit now on my camps. It's proper comfy as well, I like it. Uh, yeah, there's the pillow. The Aloft pillow, the 0 .2, 2.0 version. So yeah, I'll put that down and I'll come back to you in a minute when I'll show you my extra. Catch you in, guys. So if I want to do a winter camp, um, obviously, I have got a winter bag, but it's packed away because I, I haven't really been doing camping through the winter. But if I couldn't be bothered to get that bag out, I know I'd be fine with that bag because I'm a, a, I'm a warm sleeper anyway. But I've got a thermal sleeping liner from Mountain Warehouse just in case. So that will go in me in my pack with everything else. Um, just in case I need it. But like I said, the, the mat's got an R8 and a 7. So that keeps me insulated from the from the ground, and the bag's pretty warm anyway when it's thrown over you. It all depends how you sleep anyway. Like I said, I'm a warm sleeper, and normally I've got thermals on as well when I'm sleeping and and stuff. So yeah, so what I'll do, I'll set it all out properly, and I'll bring you back in a minute, guys. So here we have it, guys. This is my sleeping kit lowdown. Like I said. A sleeping bag is all right for summer, but it, I'd stretch it out for winter as long as it wasn't too cold. The mat is actually three centimeters, not three inches, and I know I said three inches. So there's the mat fully loaded. Look, it's got like a, a non-slip thing on it as well, which helps a lot. Like I said, with the pillow as well. What chose me, made me buy it was the, the strap to strap it onto the, the mat. I know the mat looks small. I think it's a, a three quarter, I think. So you fit, my feet do hang off, but like I said, I'm a warm sleeper, so my feet are warm through the night anyway. And I tend to wear thermal socks when I go camping as well at night. So there you are, guys, that's my sleep sit kit. What I'll do. I'll bring you back in a minute guys. So there we have it, that's my sleep system. Um, it's a pretty comfy sleep system if I'm honest. Um, it, it does make it I am the mat. I think I paid £27 for the mat, so it's a pretty decent price. Gone on off here, but I can't remember the website I used. Um, but I will find out, I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link in the description for the pillow as well and I'll try and find 
a link for the sleeping bag because I did buy it off eBay and every time I go on it it says there's no more available so I'll try my best on that one and what I'll do I'll pop up some more information as well at the end of the video or whenever on the, the specs of the items I've been using all the kits I've been using so yeah thanks for watching guys please consider liking and subscribing to the channel I did hit 10,000 views yesterday I know it's not <laughs> loads but to me it's a winner so yeah please like and subscribe well consider liking and subscribing and I'm hoping to do a a little a little giveaway um, this will be next week it won't be much it's a couple of things what might come to use for some people so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time guys peace